Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you are doing amazing. Welcome, welcome back. If you are new, I am Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite this world. That means do what you love. Look at that. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, of course, my favorite number. 17, the star card. Wow. In this one, it's all 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Wow. 17. Wow. Star, hope. My favorite number. <laughs> It is my favorite number because I uh, I embarked in my adventure when I was 24 years old and it was on the 17th of October of 2000. Well, don't make the math. <laughs> anyway, I love to be here today walking this path. It is a gorgeous day. It is nature is blooming, okay? The river on the side, the fields on the other side. I am in paradise land, as you know it. These bushes are getting bigger and bigger, you know. If you have seen all the videos that I have done in this path, the the the, the landscape look very different. And I'm delighted to see purple flowers, of course. White flowers, <laughs> all flowers. They smell amazing as well. Ah, nature. Thank you, Mama. Honestly, thank you. It's the best energy ever. Nature is the best energy. I cannot encourage that much, you know. It's impossible to represent how good is nature for all of us. Look at this. Wow. It's paradise land. It's beautiful. And there is Luna. Luna, come on. She's walking. They're having a little bit of a break. I've been sitting in the desk in the desk for long, long hours. I mean working a lot. And but today this intro. Wow. August. Ay ay ay. It is the last reading for July and I cannot believe that July already ends. My life is going really fast. I don't know if your life feels that fast. Mine feels really fast lately. So many things going on. Uh, kids are on holiday now, so it's like a busy, busy, busy time. And uh, trying to organize things for them, for me to enjoy. Let's find what is here. And I'm sure in many places, you know, people is going on holidays, so the kids are going on holidays as well in every hemisphere. Look at how beautiful. Look at the name of that. I'm not going to film the lady, but the name there sounds something. Gone Guzler. Beautiful. So everyone is having holidays here in England. <laughs> it's Friday. I'm filming this intro on Friday. Okay. So, divine timing. That's the topic for today. Divine timing. Meaning, this is the time for you to hear this message. This is a topic that one of my friends or my colleagues in this world, you know, have done very recently and I love it. And I thought, okay, I bring divine time in and a message that you need to hear, you know, right now. And I was also listening to a video of Bashar. I don't know if you have seen Bashar. Bashar is an entity that is, um, Embody, I forgot the name of the person. I think it's Darren. Uh, he brings Bashar, similar to... Um, oh, my, my brain, I cannot remember. Uh, Abraham, you know, with uh, the lady. I forgot the name of the lady. But you know, you know, this extraterrestrial... I, I don't know where they're coming from, but apparently they're extraterrestrials, okay? Um... The channel meshes through us humans here, and one is Bashar and the other is Abraham, okay? And 
Esther, yeah, Esther Hicks, Esther Hicks. Okay, so I was listening to the video of Bashar. And Bashar was saying that there is no such a thing of predicting the future. Interesting. What you are, what we are reading when we do readings is the energy you are in. And if you keep yourself in that energy, means that you are going very likely to manifest that energy out. And as many uh, techniques, <laughs> as many techniques for manifestation, the whole purpose of a manifestation is to feel the energy before it happens, no? Hmm? And that secret, I mean, it's not secret, that reality is the most difficult of all. Because humans, we are wired towards feeling, seeing, hearing, tasting, in order to believe of uh, existence of things. When it is in our energy field, and it's not physical, we tend not to believe. So the idea of, my, of prediction is to understand what is the energy that you are in, and if you know the energy and you sustain the energy you are in, you create that energy in the, in the physical world. And prediction, so based on Bashar, if you don't like the energy, if what you are hearing, which is the energy that you are in, is not the right energy, then look at the beast. Oh, wow, that's abundance, eh? Then you can change the energy you can change the outcome, okay? So, there is no escape, no matter how we describe manifestation, how we describe abundance, how we describe, um, I mean, all the techniques out there in terms of manifestation. The reality is that all start with knowing that knowing, understanding the energy that you are in, okay? So this is the message. I mean, this is the reading. The reading will try to understand. A message that you need to hear right now means in divine timing, what is that message that will activate the energy that you, of that thing or that thing or that output that you want to see? Well, hope makes sense, you know, but I was trying to explain. So, uh, because obviously that video from Basha resonated a lot. And with that explanation, uh, I think I'm going to end the intro here. I wanted to also thank to all of you that listened to the intro. I love you so much. You are my pillars. <laughs> you are my pillars. Okay, the pillars of this castle. I love you. I see you in your reading. It is divine timing. Let's hear what we need to hear. Okay, love you. See you in your readings. Thank you so much for being here. Kiss, kiss. Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the donations. Thank you for the support. Thank you to my patrons. Thank you to everyone. Okay. You have seen in the intro. This is divine timing. A message that meant to reach you right now. The divine timing is now for the message to arrive. <laughs> okay. Now, this is important message. Um, we can call it in different way, but this is a message that will unlock something really important that you need right here, right now. And we have the three different piles, and these piles, all today theme is purple to connect with our higher self, okay, and the divine. And purple is the most beautiful color to connect with that energy. And we have three piles, as you know. We have three types of bracelet. They are new. I mean, new designs, and they will be available and charged with the energy of your reading uh, on the link under the timestamps, okay? So we have option number one is this. Uh, Labradorite and uh, Labradorite and um, uh, Aventurine bracelet. 
This is beautiful, I show you. See? Very nice. And this is my new deck, and it's called, follow the name, The Familiar's Way. The Empress. Wow. What a great start for a divine timing message. Okay. Wow. The Empress. Option number two is this um, Amazonite. Green or kind of turquoise Amazonite. Beautiful as well. Look at that. I love it. And this is one of my favorite decks. The Ethereal Visions Tarot. Ace of Pentacles. Wow. What an energy. <laughs> oh, I feel the vibes. The purple always. When I do pies with purple, you know, it's very powerful. <laughs> Option number three is Green Aventurine. This is beautiful. And this is the uh, Star Child Tarot, second edition. Five of Wands. This is a very interesting Five of Wands because the ones are not reaching. It's all in the mind, no? Mm, very interesting. I'll show you another. The Temperance. That's more like it. Mm, the Waiting. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, choose your pile, you know. In whatever, you know, for whatever reason, the bracelet, the deck, the card, the timestamps, and I see you in your reading. Thank you so much for being here. Love you. See you in a minute. Hello, talented souls. Happy day, happy week, happy life. Hope you are doing amazing. Welcome to your pile. This is pile number one, and this is Labradorite and a Green Aventurine Bracelet that will be charged with the energy of the reading and available on my Etsy shop. First come, first serve. If you're new, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. And if you skip the intro, I am Luna and I focus on igniting your talent for you to ignite the world. That means do what you love. Be who you are. Okay, let's go for it. Divine timing. This is the divine timing to receive an important message from a spirit, from the universe from your guys, from all the spiritual beings that are around us. Whoever is your guy is going to give you a divine, a message in divine timing, meaning right now. This is the divine timing. This two will be for the end, and this one, no. This one I want here. Okay. So, four cards. I'm back to the oracles. And let's see. A change in the wind. Well, we like that. We like a change. Why? Because we don't... I mean, if you're here normally, you don't want... You want more of what you have. <laughs> mm -hmm. and this means that the change is approaching. You're waiting for something. Number 12 is a significant number. Number 21 as well. Uh, this is looking at the past and the wind goes to the future. You see, the winds go to the left, which is the future. And the zebra looks to the past. There is something that is standing there that needs to be removed. The wind is going to make this zebra turn around. You're going south. You're going south. Some of you are relocating to the south. Some of you are waiting for the that uh, kind of move, location move. You are, you were in the north and now you're going to the south. That's a very specific message for some of you. We have a zebra because zebras are not, I mean, in my concept, this is me, no? They're not horses, but they are not, I mean, it's, an, it's an kind of, you know, an animal in between a horse and something, and a, a horse and a, and a mula. Una mula y un caballo, in, I don't know, in English. But the idea is, you, are, you have learned your lessons. When I see a zebra, I see lessons, like, you know, painted. The stripes are, you know, the past, the things that you have learned, okay? And you are evolving from this. Some of you have a birthday in December. 
and you're evolving from this and you are really, there is a phase here, you are really connected with connecting with your future. So the divine message, the divine timing message is that change is definite and you're going south. When we are going north, we're going to the winter. When we go south, well, that's my that's my interpretation. When we go south, it depends, no? If you go to Antarctica, it's the south and it's very cold, no? But when you go tend to go south, for example, if you are in the north, I mean, if you are, in, I mean, south for me represents a warmer, a more, let's say, warmer uh, place. You're coming from the cold and you're going to the warm. 31, wow, 31st, Elgas, divine might foretold. Wow, I need to check on this one. Wow, but I'm getting a manifestation, a serious manifestation. 31st of December, significant date. Also, 3 and 4, significant date. 4, four 3, 3, 4, uh, 31 and 13. Leadership, taking the decision, moving towards what you really want, connecting with your ancestors, with your spiritual guides, the moon energy, the energy of the dreams. My point is, this is an animal that takes leadership. This is a very elegant animal that migrates to. So I'm thinking you are taking, we have two animals that are known for traveling. So definitely you're traveling. You're, maybe you're manifesting, you know, a holiday. Maybe you're manifesting a change. But definitely you're taking a, you're making a decision in the right direction. Hmm? Under my umbrella. Wow, look at this peacock. It's a red peacock. Under my umbrella. You're safe. It's the idea of, you know, being uh, protected. Your flight is protected. Your destination is protected. The, the, this, the warm is protected. Wherever you go, there's going to be that sun, no matter what. And the last one is Kuan Yin, prayer and compassion. Choose to be loved. Do what is right for everyone involved. Offer a helping hand. Wow. This is your guide at the moment, is Kuan Yin. Maybe you are a, from an Asian origin, I will say. I get, well, I get all the nationalities, but uh, this is very significant, Kuan Yin. Um, I'm getting that the most important message that you need to hear right now is that it's, it is time it is time to go in the direction of your leadership it is time to go in the direction of what make you stand out of the crowd it is time to take ownership of your destiny okay and you are on the right track that's the two important message here you are on the right track let's check on the 31st Divine machine unfold. I will need to put my headphones because my kids are around. Give me a second. Okay, let me see. I mean, if now it's connecting, give me one. Okay, so you know what is correct. You understand that any gain which comes from denying your values and compromising yourself create a loss of soul. Exactly. There are times when it may see. As though people who act without integrity are obtaining benefit without adverse repercussions. Life can seem unfair if you limit yourself to a strictly human perspective. Yet nothing escapes the attention of the spiritual world. Restorative action and balancing fairness is always in action at a higher level. According to divine timing and wisdom, stay true to your integrity, put your faith in divine justice, and you will win in a way that brings benefit to many. Don't let yourself down with behavior of attitude that are unworthy of you. Yeah, this is the idea that I'm getting. 
I'm getting the idea that you need to follow your path once and for all. You need to stop, change, go for that leadership, go, go for that position to help others. I mean, it's clearly that you have a talent that allows you to connect with people in a way that you have a, that healing energy for them, no? Uh, let's check on the number 20, another significant number. Compassion, the same words. Compassion, care, the same words in two different two different decks, care and compassion. Also, there is a change on the wind means that now you're going to put yourself also as a priority. You care of yourself, you have compassion to yourself. Friendship, protection. I'm getting that definitely you are meant to help others. And this is a decision that implies a significant change. A man is pitch, pitch on the back of a giant parrot. He's holding an umbrella which keeps the bird dry from the rain. This man is happy to help. He does not fear climbing up the bird, the big bird, or a possible nip from the sharp beak. He's optimistic that his small umbrella is good enough to protect the bird from the weather. Yes, you have to trust that your talents are good enough to, to care and, and bring help to everyone. He's rewarded with a burst of color on his own life. Exactly. Who does give, get. Who does give, get. This is about, honestly, this is about a kind of, you know, of work that is beyond your job title, is beyond your degree, is beyond your career. This is about helping others in a way that you use your talent or your tools, your leadership, your voice, your healing energy to help others. And that's it. And you will be rewarded tenfold for doing that. That's the divine, divine message here. <clears throat> Let's see at the bottom. Nine of a spirit, which is the nine of wands. Yeah, sometimes you doubt that if you have all the tools, you have a you have a tiger. You are ride, riding a tiger. You understand? You're riding a tiger. You have everything that you need to, you know, to help others. You have everything, all the talents, all the skills, the resources as well. You are riding a tiger. Ace of Pentacles, of course, you have money, you have lack on your side, but it's not lack, it's that you have always put the money where it counts, meaning you have always invested in the right things, you have always put the effort where it, where it matters, you have always know how to invest your energy. And this is a message that you are deciding where to invest your energy now. The ladybug is, is the lack. Seven of thought is the seven of swords is for me is always the worst card in the whole deck. The seven of swords for me is worse than the tower. Why the seven of swords for me is worse than the tower? Because it's not is the self is not believing in yourself. Okay? It's like not believing in yourself. The worst and also not believing in others and others being very mischieving with you and trying to prevent you to go in this direction. This is a time not to hear to others' advice. This is a time only to hear to yourself. Experience of a spirit is the king of wands. You are going ahead like this animal. The zebra is going to the past. You're going to the future. You're going forward with the yama. <laughs> With these animals, well, this is very significant. The animals here, we have tiger, zebra, uh, a deer, and a llama. So, and a fox, you know, like there is a lot of animals here. Which is telling me that you live in an area that probably there is a lot of natural resources or you're going to be connected to, to countries where, you know, there is uh, an element of protecting uh, the environment too. I'm getting fire, forest, you know, and you protecting this land. You are a king here. You are taking the leadership role towards this investment. And this investment involves helping others, literally. 
with care and compassion. The eight of semantics, the eight of pentacles, you are ready to put the effort, you have the patience to wait, you have the patience to, you see the big picture too, you don't see just, you know, the, the, the Reno, I mean, there is a lot of Africa here and South America as well. You just not see the Reno here, you see the pentacles that are connected to this Reno. You see the Reno here doesn't have pentacles and the Reno here has pentacles. It's because she's making money doing what she loves. Okay, she has resources to focus here and she's going to be rewarded. This is the same idea that whatever you put, you're going to receive tenfolds. Okay, and here she cannot walk. Uh, she's disabled. Uh, she's in a chair, but the chair is the best tool she has to go places, to move. At the end of the day, you can always, you will always be in movement. You will always be in Let's say I see a person that travels. I see a lot of a lot of people here that go different different countries, different places, helping people, healing people. I see someone with money, with lack, with resources. Ten of Pentacles. I'm telling you, you have all the resources. You're going to be rewarded tenfold, and this remind me again Africa. They live in Africa. They are investing in, in protecting animals. I'm getting some of you are going to focus on saving a species. Saving the rainforest, saving the savanna. The seed, the pentacle here is a, is a seed in the, in the ground, no? Very interesting. You're going to face deception. You're going to face false information. You're going to fight for the right of the animals. Many of I mean, some of you here definitely focus on animals. Eh? But abundance, you have all the money and whatever you put out as, as because you're using your energy, your real energy. You are, you are really deciding finally to go south, meaning to go in an opposite direction to you, where you have go before and make a decision of helping others more consciously. Three of Pentacles, you will get help on your way. Resources, you know, resources. Honey, the south, the hot weather. You see, there's something significant here on the hot weather. You are going to go, I, on my intro, there were bees. Probably most of you have watched my intro. That's the abundance that is coming. And, that, and the earth is going to give you all the resources and you will have partnership, you will have people helping you. This is about making a decision. Okay, what's the divine, the divine timing? This is the divine timing. But what is the message that is divinely guiding you? Is the message that you have all the resources and more to focus entirely on helping and caring for others. And those others could be people, or could be earth, could be nature, could be animals, could be a specific place in the world. But this is what you are meant to do. Okay? This is what you are meant to do. Wow, this is so beautiful. Im Rama, where are you being called to journey to? Exactly. This is a mega confirmation that you're going places. What are you called to journey to? You're going to travel with this work. You're going to travel. You're going to go to Africa, South America. Uh, the zebras are, well, in the, I don't know, Amazonas with this parrot. I mean, all different, different geographies, you know. You are being called and you're going to help. There is a knowledge that you have that is going to help. And the last one, the past is in the past, okay? You have come out of the past as a winning warrior, as a transmutation a snake. You have transmuted the past. You have winds. The winds are dark. Why? Because you don't need to carry the past any longer. You are transmuting this past and converting yourself into a goddess that fly. That's what I'm getting. You are the goddess that flies. You are the goddess that is trying to strong. You are the goddess that doesn't, doesn't need to hide the past. This, the, the, I was talking about the zebra being the past, no? You don't need to hide your stripes. 
your winds, your darkness. You just need to transmute and put the energy to work, to work with the people and the things that really need you. Okay? There is a lesson here of evolution of the soul and evolution towards proper enlightenment. And this person is Chinese, so imagine. Im this is also Chinese or, or Japanese. I don't know, Quan Yin. The point is, you are going to go everywhere in the world. There is a skill that you have that generates abundance where others don't see it. There is a skill that you have that is going to remove bullshit information that is outside. You have, you are lucky. You're lucky. You're riding the tiger. You're riding the tiger. The wind is taking you. The wisdom of the moon is taking you. Your kindness is going to be, you know, your journey towards helping is going to make you mega mega abundant. Honey represent abundance. Bees represent abundance and work. You are working towards, okay, spiritual work or healing work, okay, that represent in the mat in the in the physical plane as ten of pentacles, ace of pentacles. You know, like you are using all your resources to generate generate a, a better planet for all. Either because it's people, animals, again nature, etc., etc. Okay. I love your reading, but I'm going to put one more card, which is this energy cards. As a surprise. What final message from my pile number one with regards of this divine timing and this divine message? Okay, this one wants to come. There are two. <laughs> Look at this. 31 again. Yeah. Divine might foretold. Mm -hmm. 13, 31 is a significant number, and 13 as well. Financial constraint. With these two coins, you're going to generate this. Okay? And the secret sauce, the secret sauce to generate this wealth. Okay? She's the woman holding a coin. She's the queen of pentacles. A 42 significant number. This year is going to happen. Trust your intuition. Okay? The way to generate this wealth is to help others. As simple as that. The more you help, the more you receive. Okay. Guess what? I think we will need to, you know, focus that energy there. And at the bottom, 44, women holding a heart. Yes, you have a heart of gold. The secret for the eight, the abundance, the secret for the abundance is to give help and care for others. And that's the divine timing message that you needed to hear today. I love it. If you enjoy the reading, please subscribe, comment, share, like. This bracelet, I love. I'm going to put it here on the journey. You know what? Because your journey is, your journey is beautiful. I mean, and I think, I think the journey is calling you. And you know that. And also the Ten of Pentacles and the woman. Okay, so let's be practical. We are going to put it there. <laughs> I thank you so much. I cannot wait for the comments. Please check on my Etsy shop. Check on my patrons. Uh, I have 70 plus videos there, I think. Do I have 70? Oh, I think so. Uh, I have many additional Pika Car videos there. Uh, I love you. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing this time with me. Until the next time. Namaste. Have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life. Bye-bye. Talented -bye. souls, if you have chosen pie number two with this uh, Amazonite, green um, green turquoise Amazonite, that will be charged with energy of the reading and available on my Etsy shop, first come, first serve. This is your reading, divine timing, a message that you need to hear right now. Divine timing. Divine timing for what? That's what we're going to try to find out. Okay. Ooh. Okay. So, let's go through the oracle. Hope you're doing amazing. Uh, I'm shuffling on camera because I think it's, I don't know. 
Francisco, Francisco made me change my mind. <laughs> he watched my video, so Francisco, if you have chose this pile, you know? <laughs> Hola! <laughs> Hope you're doing great. We should do a collab, you and I. Okay. That one. That one. And the last one. No, and I know that many, as there are some, some tarot readers that prepare the, the, the cards, that's horrendous, but there are. So choose wisely who you are listening to. That's the only thing I'm going to say. Okay, choose wisely. I know people that prepare. I can, I can tell it. Okay, let's go for it. 15, Anja Durga, the power of the God of the good. The power of the good. I'm telling you, we're talking about people that don't do the right thing. And here is, we have the first card, the power of the good. Oh, wow. This feel contentment. This, well, 15 is also the devil card, but it's, see, here is a significant date of birth. I'm getting the January, January, the 5th of January and the 1st of May. The power of good. The power of doing the good thing. Infinite abundance. Yes. Who is good? Generate good. <laughs> Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Oh, yes, baby. We love that. Look at this. It's all happiness. It's joy. It's happiness. It's feeling good with life. Enjoying life. 39. My home is my castle. Oh, wow. You know what is your home, no? Your body is your home. You understand the, the value of your existence. 93 is a significant year. 39 age is 12. It is a 3, a 6. 369, the Tesla frequency. My home is my castle. I'm getting that you feel comfortable in your own skin. That's what I'm getting with that card. You feel so happy with your own skin. Yeah, you're building the blocks for, you know, for life. This is a card about abundance, about success, about solid foundation. The castle is also a solid foundation. The abundance that allow you to buy your own castle. Building your own home. 82 significant year. 28 significant date of birth. The 10. Listen, guys, this is a very clean message. The divine timing, the divine message here is that you are having enough money to take care of your own, of yourself. You value what you have. You're in an attitude of gratitude. That's why you're so happy here. And also you're investing in building, literally buying houses, purchasing houses, refurbishing, etc. So these two cards talks about architecture, you know, I don't know, investment. Let's check on uh, Anja Durga and the other, the other, uh, and the, let's check on Anja Durga because this, this uh, deck, it was gifted by my sister. Thank you, my dear sister. You're an angel, but I don't use it that much because I don't know the cars. You never, you need never to lose faith in the power of good. You never, you need never to lose faith in how much you can accomplish as an independent and inspiring individual in this world. Yes, your own skin. You are you're alone, but you are strong. You need never to believe that you're alone or without divine protection. You need, you need never fear evil. The third eye of the Divine Mother sees all things, is ever watchful and ever just. She birthed through holy vision the manifest power of good in all realms. Her gaze is upon you now. Trust her. Believe in the power of the divine to keep an eye on things for you. Trust that power to alert you when you need to know something or to understand what happened in your life. I'm getting you are you you are really receiving so much abundance, so much let's say contentment with life, you know, your own skin, but also you building castles, building Investing, growing, hmm? celebration, three of cups. It's 
a great energy of, of success, of happiness, of joy. Ten of Wands, wow. Action, determination. I mean, for me, the King of Wands is a free, it's a free, it's free. It's free of attachment, it's free of uh, pressure, it's free. It's free. Free to do whatever he wants. That's the feeling that I'm getting with you. Joy, contentment, being able to do whatever you want. The star, I'm telling you. 17. We counted the flowers on the intro. There were 17 flowers. This is no coincidence. Capricorn car and Aquarius. By the time of Aquarius, you are going to be so, so happy. December and January, you're going to be so happy. Wow, the star card is a wish fulfillment. Four of Cups. The waiting is over. I need to check on Luna. One second. Luna was escaping. <laughs> the Four of Cups in this case is an energy. Okay, I'm going to say the energy that I'm seeing because I'm listening to a song that talks about you watch yourself in the water like a mirror and this is exactly that she's watching herself in the water as a mirror because the water mirrors you and what means the water mirrors you is that the water is the most abundant element on life and you are part of this abundance the water is mirroring you you're content you are abundant also the the star card is always the water expanding no wow the Knight of Wands is, uh, this is going to happen very fast. As I said, it's going to be between now, the end of the year and January, or it's a few months. I mean, literally we are entering into August, the last, uh, well, it's still a, a way to, well, it's, it's, I mean, it flies. Time flies, honestly, for me, time flies. This is inspired action, the confirmation of the inspired action, the Two of Pentacles, yes. You will start investing Two of Pentacles is balance, investment, you know, two houses, first a, a castle, and you're going to buy something and then you're going to build. That's the energy I'm getting here. And the last one is the devil, of course, 15, 15. Capricorn, very significant in this deck. And the devil is, um, the devil has trapped this heart. And she thinks that she's trapped here because he holds his heart. Okay? So, for me, it has two meanings here. 15-15 So, I'm getting here that the devil comes to tell you that you are as free as your heart desires. Okay. The, the devil, the devil is the illusion. Okay. The devil is the illusion. And also it's a it's an advice that when you have all this abundance, the most important thing that you need to do is focus on your heart. Always focus on your heart. Okay, let's check on these two cards here. Take a risk. Oh wow. Mmm. That's a specific message for some of you. Because the inspired action of the King of Wands and the Knight of Wands is something that comes to you very fast. So take the opportunity when it comes, like the Four of Cups. Take the cup that you receive. Do not search for more cups. That's the card. This card is confirming that. Take it. Because it represents infinite abundance. Play, have fun, celebrate, don't be too serious. That's the energy of the Three of Cups. Joy. You are going to be so content, so content that you're not going to believe it, okay? This is about joy. This is about happiness. It's about receiving a lot of abundance. This is about building things, buying things, okay? Being content, being free, being free, honestly being free. Okay, I'm going to put two cards from this deck. The wall. Yes, 28 and 29. The wall is about conquering the wall. <laughs> 
free, freedom. She's not in the world. She walks outside the world and the world is there. I mean, the earth, sorry. She walks outside the earth and the earth is there. Okay, that's the world. So you're free of attachment. You're free of this attachment because you have mastered in your heart. I, that's, that's what I'm getting. Because this card is about mastering the heart. This card is about feeling joy, enjoying life, hopeful. It's about receiving, taking a risk and taking the opportunity. A thinking woman. Yeah, you're going to 47 significant numbers, uh, 74 as well. This is about... This is about having time to read a book, honestly. Who has time to read a book nowadays? Okay? This is about enjoying life. You know, this is about having, thinking, thinking how you're going to generate more, how you're going to invest your money, how you're going to build this freedom even more, not only for you, but for others. I'm getting, because that's the balance, giving and receiving. The six here is about also soul family. It's about, it's about you know, helping others. But I'm getting, in your case, it's about an opportunity. You take it, one cup, you become the ocean. You become Ganesh, no? Ganesh. You receive infinite abundance for this opportunity. Okay? It's a manifestation of money. It's a manifestation of a success, honestly. But the most important, the underlying meaning is, your, is set your heart free to play. It set your heart free to live in freedom. It set your heart free to build those castles, to build those blocks that, you know, make you this, uh, let's say, very successful. doesn't matter if you're a woman or a man. Very successful in this world. I love she's wearing it. It's a thinking woman. She's, she's thinking, but she's wearing a green dress, similar color to this one. Because she is, she's using her heart in whatever she does. Because she knows that if she masters this heart, it's never trap. If she knows what she wants, that heart is never trap. You know what you want now. And you're receiving one opportunity that is a manifestation of something that you truly wanted. The world, obviously, is the, is the 21 is the final card. The 10 is a competition. So this is about, okay, you're reading, your divine timing message is that you are achieving the freedom that you seek. Wow. That's beautiful. Congratulations. Congratulations. And I'm going to put one more card for you. I don't know, because some of you are doubting about the money. So I'm going to put one more card about this abundance, the Lord Garnish. What this abundance means for my pile number two, please. The opportunity, the, the knowing, the knowing, the message. Wow, change perspective. The handman is again the 21, but this is standing. Wow, you always seek for answers. The answers will seek you. You seek for answers, answer will seek you. We have another three. Three, three, three. Three, three, three. You will find, I mean, the, 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 the abundance is coming to you, okay? The abundance is coming to you. Seven of coins. The seeds are planted. You see? That's what I see. Okay. I love it. And if you enjoy this reading, please subscribe, comment, share, like. If you want this bracelet, I'm going to put it here with the building, with the girl, with the, with the castles, and the thinking woman. And Ganesha. Ganesh. Sorry. Ganesh is inside this girl. That would be good. And please comment, share, like, subscribe. I cannot wait for the comments. Uh, if you enjoyed the reading, also, uh, you know, check out my Etsy shop. If you want this bracelet that is charged with this energy, check out my Etsy shop. The link is on the timestamp. I love you so much. Thank you for uh, spending time with me. Thank you for being here. Thank you for all the love. Until the next time. Congratulations. Namaste. Have an amazing day. An amazing week. An amazing life. Hello, talented souls. If you have chosen pine number three, 
and this beautiful green aventurine bracelet that will recharge with the energy of the reading and available on the Etsy shop. This is your reading, Divine Timing. What is the message that you need to hear right now? This is Divine Timing to hear the message. <laughs> and if you skip the intro and you're new, welcome. Uh, welcome back. Uh, I focus on helping. No, I focus on everyone doing what they love. That's what I want. Everyone doing what they love. Okay, so we get this message. This reading really has been very open. And I like that. Some time to time you want to do, you know, very open reading. And you want to kind of, you know, go with the flow. Go with the flow. It's a beautiful, beautiful deck I haven't used in a while. Uh, and it's a nice combo. So, okay, so this we're going to put it at the end. And then the last one is this from David uh, Kyle. No, it's Kylie Gray. Sorry, Kylie Gray. Okay, so let's go for it. What is the divine timing? What is the message that is coming right now in divine timing? Co-create. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful card. This is a card. I mean, this deck is very popular. I'm sure you have seen it many times. This is the concept of co-creating with a spirit, with wisdom. This is a cheetah and this is, a, this is an O. And this is an egg. Okay? And this Roma. It reminds me to Roma, Italy. The main thing here is that the cheetah is very as fast. She wants things happening right now. And the O is more patient and the O is, is waiting for the right moment. Okay? And the egg comes also in a moment, you know, it takes time to, you know, this egg reminds me a dragon egg. Like, uh, you know, the Game of Thrones. Oh, my God. Those eggs, you know, there's a lot of things around the eggs, the dragon's egg. So... There is a timing here that is playing. Four is a significant age. Four also is a significant number. And a significant month, April. And this is the idea that let it wait. Wait for the right moment for this. For this is in co-creation right here, right now. Whatever you seek is being co is being is co create is co-creating. Co so it's being it's going to be born anytime now. Okay, 17, my favorite number. And today we also have a few cards around 17. And when I was doing the intro, there was a flower 17, you know, bouquet. So, Padma Sundari, Sundari, out of darkness, light is born. Yes, you're in a process now of co-creating only good things in life. There is no room for darkness anymore. That's why these two are in partnership. Okay? That's why these three are in partnership. That's why her heart is multi, is rainbow. That's why she holds two lotus because she has been born and reborn many times before. This is the energy of understanding. Look at how beautiful is this. All is connected. Oh, wow. It cannot be more perfect. You're connected to Mother Earth. You're con your hair is connected with the wind. Your hair is connected with the, you know, your dress is connected with the tree, and your dress is the tree, and you know the 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 spider here is building, you know, a beautiful decoration for your. Hair. I mean, this is co-create. This is exactly the same principle as this car, you know. the The spider is co-creating with you, Earth is co-creating with you, and then here the the cheetah is co-creating with the wisdom. With the O and the egg and the, the work, you know, the, the time. This reminds me of the olden time. So that's, there is a connection here of time. There is a connection here of precision. Okay, there is a here is this is a confirmation that the darkness the darkness is over. You are now co-creating beautiful things. You are connected to all. You understand the light is being born right now. Okay, and this is the process of creation of that light. You're coming out of a very difficult time, I know that. Look, experiencing grace, all the veneration. Share your gift with grace. 
Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. The love is coming, love is coming. You're going to feel connected to everything. It's like you are being blessed. You're being blessed now. The message is you are being blessed. There is a rose in his heart. The heart. Two, two, two cards talking about the heart. Twelve and seventeen significant numbers. This is about co-creation from the heart and the idea of no more pain at all. Okay, this is over. It's completely over. You are healed now, and everything that you're co-creating is coming from the light. Mm, you have more cards. What well, I'm telling you, Ace of Crystals. Everything that you're creating is coming from the light, and it's a mater materialization of this light. With the Ace of Crystal. Abundance. New beginnings. Successful new beginnings. The chariot. Oh, yes. July. This is happening between July and one month more. Uh, August. Very fast. The unicorn goes into Wonderland. You are heading towards Wonderland. You are in Wonderland creating Wonderland. <laughs> Destiny, awakening, the, the, the judgment card. This is this is your destiny. This is what's meant for you. Okay? Because whatever you have lived before ended. And now the important message is that what you are co-creating is only light. It's only from the heart. The Ten of Swords, exactly. The hour of the darkness, the light is born. The ending of the pain, complete ending of the pain, and the seventeen is the hope, is the is the light. Wow, that could not be more significant, you know, just there. Seventeen of October, significant date. I said that on my intro as well. The seventeen of the ten was the day that I left my country, so seventeen ten is a very significant date for some for many of you. Freaking the three and the three. The Empress and the Twelve, which is a three. All is connected. I'm telling you, everything that is giving birth right now is light, is abundance, is wealth, is destiny. The Empress. Wow. Two of Wands. Two of Wands is a card that uh, talks about uh, passion. It talks about partnership. This is about the eternal partnership with, with, with between, between you and the universe. Okay? This is about the eternal partnership. The two for me here represent the partnership. Okay? The inspired partnership. The fire partnership, because when we talk about ignition, igniting, we talk about fire. The inspired action. The spirit will be always near you, co-creating with you for now and eternity. There is a very important lesson that you have learned. Very important. The truth card, my love. As I said, the partnership, the perfect balance, the perfect partnership. The partnership between two walls. She's here, lying, and there are two worlds connected with rainbows. I said the chariot go to Wonderland. Wonderland is where the rainbows exist permanently. The magic is permanent. We have two, two. We have a two, three, triple two. Okay? Two, two, two. Because it's talking about partnership. It's talking about co-creation. It's talking about not doing this alone. Okay? You're never alone. This is about creating light, creating happiness, creating joy. No other creation comes out of you and this partnership. This is an ending of very, very dark night of the soul or dark uh, mom, uh, experience in your life and the birth of the best time in your life. But not only here, it's, a, it's, it's eternity too. I'm getting eternity here. I'm, I'm, I'm getting forever. 
keepers of theirs. I'm telling you, you are the keeper of earth. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. You're not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. Ancient ancestors. You are being guided by the most. You are co-creating with the highest being at all, of all. You do not connect with any spiritual being that is nearby. You connect with the only the souls that have evolved. And those are your partners. Those are your partners. Your grandma, very significant here, the grandmothers, because I see an older woman there. Wow. Talk to the moon. Communicate. Yes. Communicate with your ancestors. Communicate with your guys. Communicate with them. Because everything that they're telling you is guided, is divinely guided, is divine partnership. Listen to your ancestors. Listen to your guys. They are of the highest light. Okay? And of course, you're very intuitive because we have the moon. Well, you are very intuitive. You are very awakened. You connect with magic in the world. You can manifest everything that you want with the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. You have, this is the most important message here. Out of the darkness, the light is born. You are giving birth to light, only light, for as long as your soul wants. And not only because as long as your soul wants, it's because you have been chosen to keep the, the light on earth. You are chosen to keep the light on earth. That's why you're getting all of that. Oh, that's so beautiful. Oh, my God. Thank you for being here. I mean, I love your energy. It's very... It's very... It's very... Mature. Look, fourth chakra, Archangel of Fire. Another four. Two, two, four. That's two. Well, four, we see four. Four. And you create from the heart, from the light. Archangel Raphael is connected with you too. A man holding a heart. You will receive love. You receive everything. 54 significant number, number 9 significant number. This is about being a match for the most unbelievable love out there. Another two. Another two. The journey. I'm telling you, you're going in a journey of light eternally. Eternally, in partnership, eternally, with light. Okay? Wow, door to personal healing and happiness. 34 significant number as well, 43. This is about, and this is 40, 43 and 45, 40s. 40 is a significant age. And look at the rainbows. Door to personal healing and happiness. Okay, some of you are meeting a partner forever, okay? An eternal partnership, someone that was found, that uh, you always reconnect, someone coming from the previous lifetime, coming to your life in peace. This is a, you, this is a blessed partnership. The rainbows are blessed partnership. There is happiness, there is joy. There is only love here, right? Eh? Only love, happiness, joy, I mean... This is an evolved soul. You are an evolved soul. You are a soul that uh, is healed. Okay? So everything that comes now is light. And yes, that can exist. And yes, that can happen. I'm not saying that you're not going to have a bad day. No. I'm saying that you're going to see everything with a perspective that is only the perspective of the light. The perspective of love perspective of evolution you are an evolved soul and you're being guided by the masters that's what i'm hearing masters no 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 guys masters okay i love your readings i'm going to put three more cards here what is the final message for my dear pile number three so this was a message a message there's a message coming seven of coins you're going to sit sit and watch. <laughs> sit and watch how this unfolds. You know the patient here? The infinite abundance, the infinite light. I'm telling you. This is all yellow. This is light. The sunlight. The infinite 
infinite. I don't know how to tell you. This is so such a great energy. Always is going to be very significant. And the eight of swords, wow. This is this is about, you know, this is the, the two sides of the story, no? You were blind, now you see. You were blind, now you see. And the light is coming through these this arrows, you know? Sorry, this source. Because now you're gifting. You are being gifted. The most brightest light of all. And it's no coincidence that here is the son of source which cut, which, you know, will come with a cutting. I don't know. I get the feeling of cutting this source. Relax. You know, look at the light coming your way, you know, waking you up. Wow. Four, again, eight, eight, four, two sevens. And the two ones again, the partnership, the eternal partnership. This is, this is, this is about advancing life. Advancing life, trusting. Okay? Every single step is being guided. It's being co-created with the highest intention of all. I love it. Wow. Thank you so, so much for letting me read for you. I love you. If you enjoy the reading and you want this beautiful bracelet, I'm going to charge it with the energy of this card because it was the most significant card. And it's 17, another 8. And if you want it, first come, first serve on my Etsy shop. The list is on the timestamp. And if, you know, and also please subscribe, comment, share, like. I read every single comment. Thank you for supporting my work. Thank you for being here. Thank you for letting me read for you. I would love to have you in Patreon too. I have around 70 readings there. And thank you for the love. Thank you for doing the work. Namaste. Have an amazing day, an amazing week, an amazing life. Bye-bye.